sexual assault is prevalent in Nigeria, but this act is rarely punished. And that is why we have several cases of rape in the society. On May 1st, our CCTV footage emerged of popular Yoruba actor Olari Waju Omeyinka, aka Baba Ijesha, assaulting our 14 year old girl. And this led to a renewed interest in how we deal with assault. Many have come out to condemn the issue and also air their opinions. I completely condemn Baba Ijesha's action. Um, and I think he's, he has been charged for rape, indecent, indecent assault, and um, yes, I think indecent, indecent assault with a minor. And I think that those charges actually serve him right, and um, the law will take its course. I think parents should do more in protecting their children because it's, it's a messy situation, Baba Yesha and Princess and, and the little girl. It's really messy because now. Yes, there's a video, and I said we don't know who to believe, so there's a video, but then it's still messy. So I, so my own stance would be where the parents' um, role come in. I think parents should play a better role in seeing that their children are protected from pedophiles in the society. I really want for him to be dealt with, and I want him to serve as a scapegoat for other child molesters that are out there. So by the time that they will see how they will handle um, Baba Ejesha, they would, you know, desist from their evil ways. Or crying out loud, this, they are just kids. But I also think that the guardian of this 14-year-old um, lad should be punished as well. First, for being a part of a 7-year-old cover-up. Because according to the story, the girl was first raped at 7. And then she, you know, sort of agreed with Baba Ijesha to cover the story and then she's coming out now. I think she should be punished for that. And I also think that she should be punished for setting up a minor to gather evidences. It's also wrong. The state government has said its Directorate of Public Prosecution, DPP, has established a child sexual offence case against the actor. This development has shed more light towards justice for victims of rape and all sexual and domestic violences. Many Nigerians are hoping that this will be the first of many, especially in a country where justice is not really taken seriously. We'll keep our fingers crossed towards what this will be. Jessica Maduka reporting from Penn Radio Live.